Hey everyone, today on Feathers Off-Road I wanted to show what I've done with the front sprocket on this electric dirt bike. I've mentioned in previous videos about the issues I've had with this Honda retaining clip. Um, in fact, this is really the only persistent issue I've had with this bike so far. The problem is that the teeth on this ring, there's so much play here from the factory, is that the teeth on the ring get smashed and they get bent and then eventually this whole thing will come off. In fact, this, this is the second one I've already had on and I, this one was so smashed, I couldn't get it off without a pry bar. So why remove it, you might ask? I mean, mainly it's because I just didn't want it to come off while I was out riding. I'd rather fix it at home here with all my tools. So you can see how mangled these teeth are. They just don't even really exist anymore. Um, the shaft itself still looked fine. The sprocket looks fine. Chain looks fine. So I have another retaining ring, uh, but I got to figure out something for the slack here because it just puts way too much pressure on the teeth. So everything else here, you know, like I said, I checked all this out and it seems to work fine. My first thought was to take some measurements and see if I can find a washer of some kind that will fit this space. The shaft diameter is just less than three quarters of an inch. Uh, on the sprocket itself, there are these two mounting holes, and from the center of each hole, it's about one and a quarter inches. So I'm trying to just build a profile of what kind of washer could fit. The, the thickness of this washer can only be about a tenth of an inch. I've got 0 0.13 on the thickness, but this, is, this ends up being a pretty specific washer, so I wasn't even sure if I could find anything that would actually fit. So after a trip to the hardware store, this is the closest thing I found. The shaft diameter was barely too small. I actually had to bend it open. And you can see where I've marked here with a marker. It's just barely too thick because the screws for the retaining clip won't actually be able to go past this. So I looked around the shop and I thought, well, I have some really thick wire gauge, 12 gauge, 10 gauge wire. I can't remember exactly which one I used, but I thought this might fit. Um, it's just thin enough that the screws will go in. It's just thin enough also that the retaining ring can still fit into its shaft. And it's not quite so thick that there is zero play. There's just a little bit of play. So ultimately I wanted to try this wire segment. I got some longer screws to account for this gap because the, the wire is thicker than the factory. So I had to get a little bit longer screws. I threw some blue Loctite on there. I didn't want this to back out while it was on the trail. And I needed to be careful that I wouldn't tighten this down too much. If I tighten it too much, then the wings on the retaining clip are gonna bend and that's gonna put extra pressure on the teeth, which is gonna cause the same problem that I already had. So I wanted to, to tighten this down, but not overly tighten it down. It still needs to have a little bit of play. Looking closer, this piece of wire is just really like the perfect size. Um, I may pull this off and measure it and maybe even 3D print a spacer because I think even a 3D printed spacer would probably hold up here. There's not a lot of stress on it if it were printed pretty thick, but I'm trying the wire out for now. So I've got everything assembled. I've got the motor on. It's holding so far at speed. I've run this a number of times. You can see if I wiggle this a little bit, there is still a tiny bit of play, which is what we want. We don't want it to be super snug that it's gonna break. We do want the chain and the sprocket to be able to move just a bit, but it's just not as much as it comes from the factory. So there isn't too much pressure anywhere, really. I mean, it, this wire, like I said, it is almost like the perfect exact fit. So what I'm gonna do is run this for a few rides and see how it goes. So until next time, enjoy the ride. 